Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here, and welcome to, well, a web page. Um, this right here is Open RCT uh, 2, also known as Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 Source. Now, um, you're probably hearing music in the background. That is actually the game Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Now, why do I have this web page open and not the game? Well, that's a very good question, and one that I'm about to answer. So, you see, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 has seen some years. Like, it's it's been around... Like, uh, it came out after Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, of course, did. But what I mean is, like, it has been around for a while. Like, in most cases, like, the most recent one is, in fact... Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And so, um, <clears throat> you would think that Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 not being so far behind it would have so much problem. Thank you, Patrick. You're gonna be in my video now. Um, anyway, um, so I'm here on this page because I want to show you something. So, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 will not run, period by itself right now on Steam, like, and the de development team for it has given up on it. They just released the game on Steam and were like, whatever, we're not doing anything with it. And for some god-awful reason, when you try playing the game from Steam itself, it'll run, but the second you try to change the resolution size of the video, of the game, I mean, change, like, save your game, or even try to alt-tab out of the game, the game will crash. This fixes that. The only problem is, this thing's in beta. So let me come down here just to show that real quick. Um, I'm hoping you can see the whole screen here. If not, I'll just read off some of it. So it says, um, development started on April 2nd, 2014. Thanks to numerous countries and those open RCT projects making great progress. An installation of this is required to play. And so, um, it's basically saying that this is still kind of in beta. There's something on here that says that, like, you can come in here into the issues and they will say some stuff that has been causing problems, like, um, there's dead code reaches, apparently. But these are, like, old things, apparently. Like, this was a day ago, and, like, okay, so it's actually not too long. But they've had an... Uh, recent upload. If you come here to the downloads page, I'll show you real quick. This is the most current build, which is 0.0.5.0, and it was made about an hour ago, apparently. And I haven't had any issues with it so far. Yeah, here it is. Please bear in mind, this is an early beta stage. Crashes and bugs are common. If a build is not working, try an older one. You can report bugs on GitHub and on, on the forums. Then section of Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 is required, blah, blah, blah. So, here's the download installer, you just click it and it'll start, I already have it so I'm not going to do that for this little kind of tutorial thing. And then you would open up the program, which does kind of like this, and, um, here, let me move this extra over here so you can actually see it. So it pulls up this page here, and then it asks you, hey, where's your Roller Coaster Tycoon game file to, with the file? Without that, I can't play. And so you have to show where it is, and then it pulls this up. And it pulls up the game. Now I have the options open because I was playing with some of the options here. And this should be centered onto your screen very easily. I might have a couple borders here and there, but it's basically there for your guys' viewing pleasure now, right? So you can come into options, and now this this actually isn't here. In the base game, this options thing up here is not available. Like that's just not in it. So that's why this is called Open Art Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 instead of just Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, which it would say in the upper right, in the upper left originally. But in your options, um, you have where you can go into window mode, full screen, and full screen borderless. Um, strangely enough, I tried putting it in, uh, 1920 by 1080, it does not work. I don't know why, but it didn't work, so I haven't, um, so I'm recording this in 720p, just so you know. 
Um, you can kind of come in here and change some of the stuff that you've seen before, of course. Um, scroll view, yes, yeah, scroll view, trap massacre, zoom window, stuff like that. And then it allows Twitch controls, but I don't have a Twitch. Those of you who are uh, wondering, I don't have one, surprisingly. Anyway, let's get out of here and let's um, open this up here. Oh. That's not what I had before. Oh, I see. So, it puts it back in the way that it was supposed to be, apparently. So, it was supposed to start out with this. You have inherited a large castle, your job is converted into a small theme park. If you have at least 1,500 guests in your park at the end of October, you're four, with a park rate of at least 600. So, yeah, and like, let's go into this real quick just to test some things. So, um. I'm guessing things are paused when you first start out, so. Okay, so this is pretty much... Oh, I don't like that very much. It's kind of like a weird... Um, thing where it kind of seems choppy when it's moving, but I'm guessing it'll be okay. Um, so, let's close that for now, and let's come into here and... Oh, there's not a way to like fast forward and pause. That wasn't in the thing. So let's see, if we save game, your system dialog window, um, okay, so let's see how that worked, um, so yeah, there it is, okay. So that's how that works. Good. Okay, just making sure about that. So that still works. It used to be if you tried to save the game, it would crash as well. So that's another thing that sucks. Oh, yeah, and here's something. Clear large areas of scenery and landscapes. What it will do is you can just have it, like, clear, like, entire footpaths and stuff like that. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to have to rebuild it all since it costs money. Uh, you got your rides, of course. Um... Wow, they still work even in paused game mode. Oh, wow. That actually looks really nice. So they actually put the boats separately, which is actually kind of nice. That's actually more like how I like the Haunted Mansion rides to be. When they were just like the Haunted Mansion building or whatever... That was kind of weird. You got your roller coasters. You got all of them, actually. That's kind of interesting. Uh, research and development. Okay, so let's see. We don't want scenery. We don't want water. We don't want this. This. We want shops and stalls, and we want maximum funding for a little bit. We have the money for it. So yeah, basically, everything is working, working the way it's supposed to now, right? Um, here's the only other thing I have. If you want to do a Let's Play of this, like I'm planning on doing, um, your shortcut key for recording does not work. I have not been able to get it to work. So let's all talk about the game real quick and come back to my recording setup, which is OBS, which... Uh, I now need to pull back up after I get my... Actually, I can just click that. There we go. Um, okay, so here's my recording setup here. Um, you're probably not going to be able to actually see it because of um, obvious things. Can you go away like you're supposed to? Um, damn it. Okay, so... I can just do that to kind of fix it the way I want it to. Okay, so see here how under my sources I have display capture as my source, right? You have to use that 
to record this, unfortunately, that I've discovered. I haven't been able to get it to work with any other capture source. So you got that, and then um, here in your uh, settings, which um, I'm going to put them right here for your guys' viewing sake, um, you got to go into video and change it to 1280 by 720 because that's the only one I could get it to work. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about here. Those of you who use OBS, um, you got start recording and stop recording as the... Well, I got mine as the asterisk key because it's not used in any games. However, whenever I tried doing test recordings for this, they didn't work. Like, I had to start recording by actually hitting the... Um... um here, I'll move this over a little bit so you can see it. So, so you see the stop recording button here? I actually had to use that. I'm sorry that looks retarded, you know. Anyway, um, but yeah, you have to actually use this button here to start and stop your recording unless you uh, hit the uh, shortcut key and then open the game immediately afterwards and then close it afterwards. So, yeah, I don't know if um, any of you out there do want to do recordings of this game, but this is just kind of like a kind of semi-tutorial, semi, this is the way I'm going to have to record this if I do it. Um, those of you who are wondering, though, does Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 have this problem? As far as I know, it doesn't. I've played Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, uh, a version of it, on my Macintosh computer, and it had no issues whatsoever. Like, they claimed on the App Store that I bought it that it would have, like, a thousand issues, and it had absolutely none. So I don't know what they were talking about. Of course, I had no reason to alt-tab out of the game when I was playing, so I don't know if that's still a problem with that version or not. But um, with this version, it is a problem, and you have to use this open source thing. But anyway, this is the end of this episode, more or less. I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what's going on. I might do at least just one episode of the actual uh, Let's Play of this for future reference just to kind of um, let you in on um, what's going on. As of this time, though, um, all of my Roller Coaster Tycoon videos have not been uploaded. So, um, and, I, and since I do plan to upload this as soon as possible, just to kind of update you guys on what's going on, and also give you one episode of this, just to see if, how different it is and all that. Um, like, see if everything works the way it's supposed to type thing. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just end this episode here. When I come back, we will do one episode, just one. I know, it's going to be hard for me too, to see if everything's working the way it's supposed to. And yeah, till then everyone, bye.